So Paul, we're going to have a chat about our mapping for the past year and how, how it's gone on. So you, you came on board there in the middle of the summer, or June was it? It was June, yeah. 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 So you, you, were in, you did your degree in Waterford? I did, yeah. I studied egg down in Waterford. So right, good. Came on here then, so I was happy out. Yeah. Got, got, got off my feet, so. Very good. So primarily you're doing the mapping anyway, so you're using a quad. What kind of quad is it? Uh, Yamaha yeah, Grizzly 700 there, so yeah. plenty, plenty comfort going around. Yeah. Yeah, no, so just mostly mapping I'm doing, yeah, mapping out. So we start by just going into the farm and just getting the boundaries, and once, once we have the boundaries, we can work from there, so yeah. map the whole thing out, go back into the office then and draw it up. Right. And we do design design work in as well, so for yeah. any farmer that has big open fields, I just want the design to suit the amount of cows we do the designing then and just yeah. show them where to put the straining posts and divide the paddocks evenly so yeah yes. very good so what how do you do the mapping for people that don't know you have a gps here is it yeah we have a gps system there on the side <coughs> of the quad and uh, the tough book there between my lap and just taking points from boundaries to water trucks to east b we yeah. mark manholes we mark everything in just for the map right and then for the map then we just number the map in just to make it user friendly and great Whatnot, so. so you have a robust computer there and a tough book, it takes a lot of abuse, it can handle all sorts of weather? It can, yeah, it gets plenty of weather from wet days, especially over the lakes of Wales, there's a harsh, harsh environment there, yeah. very coast. Yes. So. No, no good. So yeah. are you, do you like it as a quad or how do you compare it to a hand there, what have you driven? No, sure. It is, it is a fine quad, yeah, no, it is fine. Yeah. Good. So where have you been doing mapping then, say, for the past year, just in general, where, you know, um, where have we covered? Or? All over Ireland, really, and yeah. over in the UK, from Wales, from the coast of Wales, just off the ferry there in Hollyhead. Yeah. Um, done Glinton College, and uh, all the way down south, Yeah. down to, uh, down below Bristol, so yeah. covered a good bit of ground, so yeah. it's in plenty of country. Yeah, and I think the man before you, Carl, who's now residing in Australia, he's, I think he was up in Scotland quite a bit, and... I think went to Campbelltown once upon a time and in the last few months and came back down again, down to Cornwall, so yeah, the, it seemed plenty of road. The quad has been everywhere, so... Yeah, 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 that's great. So primarily people, why are people mapping? Or, are, are, you know, has... It's, it's just probably two customers, one looking for an accurate map and two maybe for a person then wants to do design work, is that right? That's right, yeah, sure. They just, fellas nowadays, just between grass measuring and spreading fertilizer or whatnot, they want to know exactly what to have in each paddock. Yes. Just to have... It. A map in front of them is just tis ideal, like they can work off of that. And yeah. also for the likes of relief milkers and a lot of farmers nowadays have mm. staff, new staff, and you know, they'd have a lot, a lot of different people working on the farm. So if it's down to spreading fertilizer or a more on a paddock or just putting the cows out into a certain paddock, tis, yes. tis great to have the yeah. paddocks numbered that you can't go wrong. So Yeah, and it's quite so. a few whiteboards. I think Joe has sold as well to farmers. Yeah, the whiteboards are massive, have mm. been. The whiteboards there is the map printed out in the whiteboard up in the parallel wall, yeah. so that's yeah. that's a mighty asset. Yeah. Great. So standing beside you is another surveying instrument. So I suppose, in in addition to the maps you're making for paddocks and stuff like that, you're also doing the surveys for farm yards where yards have been redeveloped. Maybe. That's right. Yeah. So going out for fields being divided. Yeah. We use we use it for that splitting fields, but also doing farm yard design work with it as well, taking levels. So, so, so with, with, when you're surveying here with that, Paul, is it lines or spot levels or what are you taking with that? It is mostly spot levels we're taking with that just to get the elevation of sites or whatnot. Mm. And it does set and out work also. Okay. Yeah, so it does. And, um, when you say set and out then, what, what, what does that mean or what's that in reality? For boundaries, do boundaries for farmers, do mount, open mountains and then it also just as boundaries. The mapping out we do there just for stakes or whatnot for okay. straining stakes. So. so new positions of paddocks maybe in large fields it's a handy way of doing it. That's right. To yeah. identify the, the location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. So great. So last but not least you're an accomplished drone pilot as well. So yeah, yeah. Um wh where do you use the drone? Uh, most mostly it is for farmyard design work there. Mm. Um it is it is for your Sandy just for the lads doing the drawings for the sheds and future proofing there if they want to Put on cubicles or whatever. It is just a uh, live image. It is a. Uh, it is ideal for lads to walk off of a drawing and seeing exactly where it's what. So. Right. Okay. So, uh, is there much to fly in a drone? That's uh, not too bad. There's, there is an app, alright. Yeah. That, that takes. 
the, 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 the most out of it. Just yes. Flying it manually, oh, it, yeah, it is. Okay. It's not too bad. So, Paul, just for doing a demonstration here in the field, so your mobile phone is obviously key to the whole thing. That's right, yeah. And um, I have an app here, and once you find, it'll find your GPS location. So, say we want to do create a project here, name the project. So, yeah, so we have the app there, um, just put in the project name. So, test run this one. Um, Create a standard map model. So you can you have obstacle avoidance, make sure to have that on. So we'll just do for instance those sheds here that they want to build on to so we just put the flight in that area so yes. So basically that that can be your, your place of interest really. Yeah. And once that's done then you connect the con phone to your controller and Connected to the drone, yeah, and then start your pre flight checks. She's ready there now, is this so her? It's ready to go there, and you can see the camera. I just took a test photo, so it's fine. And you're all right. So, how high, do, how high does it typically go? Uh, 60 meters it's set at right. for the, all the photos, it's 60 meters from where it takes off. And you can see here the mission plan map is 3 minutes and 25 seconds it should be done. In. And you can watch the camera here and you can watch as it takes photos as it goes. So it follows the map planned in. So how often is it taking pictures then? About every 10 metres is taken photos. Okay. And that can all be uploaded in onto the computer and you can actually match the spot levels with that. Okay. For the lads doing family design, so they could only estimate what needs to be dug out or what, what, what needs to go in, fill, whether it be yeah. stone or. So the survey then is superimposed onto an actual image of the. So, and every picture is merged into one big image. That's right, yeah, 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 yeah. so it is. What they're drawing on then is drawing on, on what actually is there on the ground. Yeah, so it is handy, yeah. you can see it before it's built, so mm. it is great to know whether it is in the right place or wrong place. It is no harm to see it before it's done. Mm. So does the drone know it to come home or when is it done or do you have to bring it home or is it all automated? Once, the, once it has it finished here, you can see the map plan. Once it has it finished, it'll just return home automatically. And you can then upload the images onto the app. So what's happening now here? So it's finished the flight plan now, so it's just returning home. So it'll effectively land in the same place to start it from, would that be fair to say? Yeah, it would. It'll land exactly back in the same place. You can see there it's connected to 15 different satellites. So. It has plenty of cover in this area, so. That's that flight mission finished in, and we'll just upload the photos now, and okay. the can use them for working on their designing in the office. So I suppose, uh, and I suppose another key piece of the software is AutoCAD. It's something you've learned as well and learned quickly. Yeah. So is, that's the main platform where you're doing all your drawing, is that right? That's right, yeah. No, it is, it is, a, it is, it is a great software, yeah. Especially for the likes of designing the fields, you mm. can just split split fields there. There could be 18 acres, you could split mm. them into three, and mm. you can pinpoint exactly where to put the straining mm. posts to divide your paddocks yes. exactly. And you can go out there with the likes of the logger and put out pins for farmers just to know where to put the posts. So, right. yeah. so it's a great job. Great. I suppose weather is a big thing in a job like this. Is the, it's not the easiest of jobs. If you get all sorts of weather, and yeah. I suppose the last few months hasn't been too bad in fairness compared to maybe last year. No, it's, it's been good enough in fairness. Look, I have good rain gear, line, line seven rain gear yeah. too, so yes. that gets me through the worst, of the, yeah. worst of the wet days. But no, in general, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. So. No, very good. Look, in fairness, are three key pieces of equipment. Yeah, and uh, you've mastered it well, so. Yeah. Well done. So no, that's it. Thanks for your update. That's good. Cheers. Thanks.